violent protests against his leadership. Our reporter Reginald Vidboy has been following the story. Yesterday, a vote of no confidence that was brought by the Democratic Alliance here at the Solplaki municipality to oust the executive mayor Mangaliso Matika. Um, yesterday, it went through and people were in jubilation. Today, the mayor came out and also the Solplaki municipality saying that um, Mangaliso Matike remains the mayor and that the council meeting that happened yesterday was unlawful. So it will be then declared as null and void. And they are also going to approach the court for a declaratory order. So I am now joined by the mayor himself, uh, Mangaliso Matika. Um, Mr. Mayor, yesterday a vote of no confidence brought by the DA um, went through, but today it's, it's said that you remain the mayor. Why is that? No, thank you very much for the, for the opportunity. I think in your opening uh, speech you did make mention of that. The meeting was a legal meeting which did not comply with the regulations that guides council on how meetings should be convened. We must make mention that uh, the meeting was not called by the speaker. In the absence of the speaker, the municipal manager must call the meeting. Neither of the two called the meet, convened the meeting. So we regard that meeting as illegal. And then also, Mayor, over the last couple of weeks, we saw chaotic scenes in the city itself. People are calling on you to step down. Are, we, are they going to see it anytime soon? No, I think the, we, should, we should start where this matter started. There was a calling for the MM and the, and the CFO to step down. And then the demands, uh, they escalated that the mayor should also, uh, should also uh, step down. This is as a result because of, uh, one of uh, two of the issues that are raised. is one that I'm arrogant as the mayor, but secondly, that I, I delayed in, in calling and uh, in, in, in firing the MM and the CFO. But I make it very much clear to the committee that there, is, there are processes that need to be followed. One, the municipal manager and the CFO, both are appointed by council. But in terms of reporting, the CFO reports to the municipal manager, and the municipal manager will report to the, uh, to the, uh, to the executive mayor. Now, both two parties, uh, if their heads were called that they should uh, resign, so the matter, the only uh, arbiter is, yeah, it was the council where I should table the matter with the allegation, where we should set up a process that must test the allegations that are made by the community. Now, also yesterday when people heard that um, you've... Um that you were removed through, um, by a vote of no confidence. Um, they were in a happy mood. What if they are going to take to the streets once again in the next couple of days? No, I think I cannot respond on, on, on myself uh, as the executive mayor. I've been emphasizing one thing that uh, the people uh, that were uh, celebrating, we respect, we respect their view. But I've said that there are also people that have been calling for those community members that are disgruntled to provide more evidence on the allegations that, have, that they have made. We need to make mention that an interdepartmental task team has been established that is led by the Department of Coxta and the Treasury. So we have agreed with the community leaders that they should submit any evidence that they have at their disposal to that committee so that matters can be investigated and within 21 days as per the uh, agreement of the committee itself that they will release a report and then I think we can take it from there. But from where I stand, I'm deployed by the African National Congress and electoral process has brought me. So if there is any concern with regards to me being removed, they should be directed to the African National Congress. Thank you. Well, that was the executive mayor of the Soplaki municipality, Mangaliso Matika, saying that he remains the mayor of the, this municipality. We also know that today a, a mass a march was supposed to be taken place here in the Diamond City um, by community members calling or demanding 
the removal of the mayor, but community, it, it also um, depends on the community members what's going to happen now because yesterday they heard that he was removed. Today they are hearing that he is still in office. So it all depends on them what's the way forward now. We also know that the chief financial officer, Lydia Matloko, and the municipal manager, Gulam Akawari, they have been put on precautionary um, suspension.